All right, Enzo's already here. Let's get this video started. Here we go. Now the car, grab the board, we are all set. What's up, Enzo? Already pre-recording, huh? Let's go. You already know a trick I want to do? Let's throw it down. Ah, man, this is going to be... This is going to be a gnarly one. Actually, I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Eric from Yoka Her Skateboards. So today, we're going to go all about all the importance of warming up. Warming up. You're probably... What's that? So it's pretty much getting your body conditioned to the physical activity you're going to do. So this is utilized in sports, action sports, pretty much any physical kind of demanding uh, task you're gonna do so maybe me when I was younger I would have got out of the car jumped down this set try to do a trick and probably could have got away with it whether I landed or I didn't um, now at my age I'm in my 30s so things have changed how I start skating so in this video I'm gonna show you kind of my routine when I get to the skate park or a skate spot that helps me kind of get the neurotransmitters firing, my body ready, reaction time, all that stuff to where I'm not gonna get injured right when I get to the park and cut my sesh short. All right, so let's warm up. Let's not just jump in. Uh, whenever I get to the skate park, I feel kind of crazy. I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. But my age now, I know, let's warm up first, let's ease into it. As a kid, sure, that was my game plan. As you get older, get a little bit more experience, especially experience with injuries, you kind of uh, will take, a t take your time a little bit uh, to, you know, just jump into some of these tricks, gradually go into it. So you're thinking warm up, let's do some ollies, let's do a kickflip. You could do that, but for me what's worked is kind of the stretching aspect. It sounds kind of goofy, lame, I do it every time now, Enzo can... Uh, uh, test to this whenever we get here. So what I do is I mainly focus on my legs because Obviously as you know the skateboard we're using our legs. We're using our feet. So that's what we're gonna be doing So when I get to skate park Say what's up to the buddies, you know get here and I'll just grab one leg really stretch it out and You know hold this for a couple seconds as I'm doing this, you know, I feel it in my thighs, but also I'm grabbing my ankle and I'm kind of flexing my ankle back a little because your feet, ankle, legs, knees, gonna be utilized while we skateboard. So I wanna make sure that they're loosened up. We don't have any tight joints um, cause I get to skate, if I'm lucky, twice a week. So I'm thinking about skateboarding 24 seven. I'm watching, um, you know, uh, digesting all this content that YouTube has everything so if it was up to me i'd skate every day like i did when i was younger but you know life hits so i get to do it twice a week so that's why we like doing these videos for you guys maybe we can shed some light on some of these topics that aren't really talked about so like i said get the legs going so then i'll do a couple lunges kind of just loosen things up and my background is from sports as well so it's kind of something i've adapted from uh Growing up playing competitive sports, you always want to stretch, you know, as an athlete, you want to make sure your body is in tip top shape. Um, same thing with the skateboard, there's no difference. Um, honestly, I think it's more important for skateboarding because in a sport, you know, you got a team. With the skateboarding, it's all you. So if something goes wrong, there's probably something you can do that would have prevent that injury or not landing that trick. So might as well take care of your body as well as warming up you want to make sure you have water so i got a big jug of water in the car um today we're we're talking about just warming up and you don't need it to warm up i would say you need it just to skate you know you want to be hydrated you want to have your uh your joints everything lubricated and how you do that is water not energy drinks not uh you know all these high sugar drinks with like uh, Gatorade or whatever like not saying don't drink it. I still drink that stuff But if I'm skateboarding want to be hydrated want want my body to kind of uh, React to any situation and with skateboarding 
it's tiny milliseconds going into every trick and the faster you can react the faster you can land that trick or the faster you can get out of the way from hurting yourself so then also getting back to stretching kind of twist out the torso but mostly just focusing on the legs just making sure everything's all nice and loose before i even step on the board and then so once i step on the board obviously gonna make sure all right nose tail do a quick little rundown grab my trucks all right the base plates are good wheels we're all good like a little checkpoint <laughs> it's almost like all right going through the list body's okay skateboard's good and then we'll roll around you know so just kind of get the motion kind of couple power slides all right the board's feeling good if it didn't feel good i always carry a tool on my on my uh on myself no i carry the tool in the car um and so i can make adjustments say you know my my board was left in the car which you don't really want to do so avoid that but say i did and bushings feel way too soft because maybe it was hot out i can loosen it up step on the board all right things are good so after that just roll around pop a couple ollies maybe a nolly just roll around I really want to get into some tricks but first we got to make sure everything's feeling good so today got great weather has nothing to do with warming up but it always helps and uh, in the next clip I'll show you the tricks I like to do skating a park that's mostly transition to help me warm up before I start pumping around and going crazy and doing tricks and telling you about this is how you do this, this is how you do that. Before we ever get into that, I like to spend about five, 10 minutes just warming up, making sure, all right, body's feeling good, but let's see how that, uh, let's see how that transitions to skating transition. I know I said transitions a couple times, but that's just how it goes, you know? We, this is how we do it at Yokoher, you know? It's, we're unscripted, we're raw. <laughs> so let's get in the next clip and I'll show you how I warm up inside the park. All right, so warming up, let's, uh, let's go over the checklist. So body feels good, board's in good shape. So here are some things that I do to help me warm up skating transition. First thing, let's drop in and uh, let's pick a route. So I'm gonna be pumping around. So I'm gonna just start pumping around, get a feel, get the speed going, and uh, just make sure my balance is all there and uh, things are firing, so. All right, we're gonna drop in. We're gonna go front side, get a little pump. Now let's go back side. All right. Woo. All right. A little air. Not really popping anything. So all right, that's gonna be kind of the muscle memory back. You know, it's been about a week since I skated. So, yep, still know how to do that. So that's. We're looking good so far. The next thing, I like to warm up on a smaller quarter pipe. You can warm up on pretty much anything you want to skate, but find like a smaller one just to kind of get the legs and mind going. So smaller quarter pipe right there, perfect, we got it. So I'm gonna go through the trick. So let's go up, do a kick turn. Let's do a rock to fakie, old tried and true. Rock, fakie. Pretty standard trick, but feels good when you do it. Warming up. And then you can get crazy, whatever your tricks are. So rock the piggy for me, or you can a little double rock. All right, so we got the feel of that. Let's do some 50-50 stalls, or axle stalls. All right. Let's grind it a little. Oh, that one didn't feel good, but we're warming up. So let's get on top of that, Kobe. Ooh, that one felt better. Now let's go back to, you know, some fakey rocks. This is probably one of my favorites to do. It just feels good. All right. So things are working good. And so like I said, you can utilize this. That's a couple tricks to warm up on a quarter pipe. Um, say you want to skate stairs. I suggest alling it first before you just jump into the flip tricks. 
I'm not even gonna ollie this one today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I used to skate stairs, first thing you wanna do is ollie it, um, get the feeling of the impact, then probably practice your flip trick. Say if you wanna kick flip, do a pop, shove it down it, whatever. Do it on flat, then ollie it, get the feeling of you know the impact, as well as know that you can land that trick, and then take it down. Same thing with the rail, ledges. Um, for me, it seems it's the easiest because I skate more transition nowadays to warm up on transition. I do, I still skate ledges, but at the other park I skate, there's a perfect ledge that I skate um, and I go through a list of tricks. I'll 50-50 at front side, back side, uh, do a crooked grind, uh, maybe some manuals on top. Some, those are some of the tricks I use to warm up on a ledge. But as for the skate park, uh, skate transition, what I mean to say is that I think the pumping and rock the fakies, the 50 50 stalls, all that, that's what really helps me. And then as I feel more comfortable, I start up in the kind of difficulty of the trick. So let's see. I'm going to pump through here. All right, let's get off the ground a little. All right, so that felt good. A little front side air. Now let's rock the fakie on something bigger. Felt good. Let's roll in fakie. Now let's work on that fakie disaster. Oh! <laughs> Not as good, but kind of adding more tricks, kind of improving the skating that I'm doing kind of helps me react and get warmed up. And then when I get honed in to a trick I really want to do, say I wanted to do a nose blunt on there. Right now, I feel that I'm pretty confident I can land it in you know X amount of tries but coming straight out of the car, would I try to just nose blunt this without stretching, pumping, working on some little tricks? No. I probably, there's probably maybe a 40% chance I can get out of the car and do it. And when I was younger, it's probably, you know, a higher percentage that I would have landed it. But as for me right now, no, I got to warm up. And I think it's something that I implemented in my skateboarding maybe five years ago. And I'll continue to do it just to keep my body ready to skate. Um, I don't like getting hurt because that means more time off the skateboard. And I just go crazy when I can't skate. Like I said, if I'm lucky, I skate twice a week now. But uh, I want, I'd like to continue skateboarding until way, way, way until I can't do it anymore. I want to be an old guy still at the park and still have a couple tricks to, you know, uh, let the youngins know I still got it. <laughs> but with that, that's warming up. So uh, as well as, I guess we can kind of add that also after a hard day skating, say you skate a couple hours. Last weekend, I came to this park, met a couple friends. Uh, we skated for about an hour and a half. And it probably doesn't sound crazy because when we were kids, we used to skate maybe six, seven hours a day and go home, eat junk food, fall asleep, go do it again. But now it's kind of the recovery time. So after I skate, I like to, you know, stay hydrated as I skate, but as well as after too. And, um, you know, get a good night's sleep. That's kind of the most important. And say if I was going to skate back to back days, definitely I would not be, uh, you know, eating fast food or drinking sodas or what have you. Um, just kind of makes you feel gross when you wake up the next day. So yeah, that's, that's another thing to kind of look into. And if you guys would want us to make a video about recovery, I can show you kind of tricks and tips I use. I use kind of the same regiment from when I'm playing sports to uh, skateboarding. And that one kind of involves a little bit more. Uh, I use uh, a massage like uh, Thuragun, like uh, for athletes. And it really helps like on your ankles, thighs, stuff like that to kind of loosen up those muscles even after you skateboard. But you know, it's that time. I think uh, I'm warmed up and I think I'm going to work on another video for you guys. So from me and Enzo at Yokoher Skateboards, we'd like to thank you for your continued support. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. And also another thing that's free is we always do giveaways. We're kind of sporadic with our giveaways. So the best way to stay in touch with us is to get in our Yokoher ecosystem. 
So the ecosystem is the YouTube. It's our Instagram page. Follow both of those as well as check our website periodically because sometimes we launch stuff that maybe I'm even surprised. I knew it was coming out. I don't know the date and it hits. And so it's kind of a cool way to stay in touch as well as if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always send it uh, directly to our page, um, our YouTube, Instagram, hit me up if you have to. And if you'd like to see another video or us go over a topic kind of a little bit more fine tuned, let us know because we're always uh, eager to make new videos for you guys. And you know what? It gets me out of the house on my days off and it gets me on my board. So it's a win-win for all of us. So, all right, you guys enjoy spring because the weather is really nice. We don't have any clouds, not cold. So I'll see you guys on the next one.